So this is the interior of the Ranger Raptor again. Um, I had previously recorded one in azure gray. Now this car exterior color is white. So I'm gonna be doing a quick little walk around for you guys, showcasing you guys this whole platform, um, kind of breaking it down in a sense. Cause I did, I just did a video of the XLT uh ranger so now we're back again with a raptor here so let's go ahead and break it down real quick for you guys all right so real quick from the get go you have the exterior right here the raptor you have the led lights headlights right here versus the non-leds with the xlt now you have a reinforced skid plate down here from Ford Performance. You have the Fox suspension, again, from Ford Performance. Um, you have your front camera. In white, it looks good, I like it. I wanna get one uh, black with the graphics package. So these are MSRPs for XL, XLT, Lariat, and Raptor, starting at 55,000. I'm thinking about it, guys. I really am thinking about it. I did mention in one of my live streams that I wanted a Chevy Colorado ZR2, but then again, I feel like I'd be better with this than a Chevy, so we'll see down the line in the future. First things first, we gotta secure that GT500. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go to the side here. I'm gonna close this driver's side door real quick so you guys can take a seat. Same side step as the traditional Raptors and other Trummer vehicles. This red panel right here, I like. This material here feels good. Much. Ford Performance as you know it, code orange, insert accenting, code orange steering wheel, code orange is always all over the place. Steering wheel is pretty beefy. Yeah, and plus my code orange uh, bracelet. Indicators, your wiper controls. So if you guys want to take a look, cruise control, volume knob your um, screen controls along with your Ford Performance pages, analog, suspension steering and the R for Raptor, and then next song, previous song, and then exhaust mode right there. Again, code orange with the Raptor. Now rear view, as you guys can see, the jack i believe is back there the jack is back there right i'm sorry is the jack back there mm. do you see the jack oh we can't really see because it's kind of dark it's not back there i guess i guess not <laughs> it's all good go ahead and then i think the power inverter might be underneath oh yeah i forgot it's not like the it's not like the f-150 you can't actually just lift this up you got alcantara inserts code orange I had no idea what I was talking about. That's cool, code orange in the center too. Man. Oh, the, the seat belt itself is black. I had thought that was a seat belt, but that's just part of the uh, seat. Yeah. All right, let's show you guys the rear. Still, to tr like from the old F-150, you still have this handle. I'm gonna, I, I don't like that. That's not, it's not, the best but again beggars can't be choosers press it it comes down by itself but it does not come up by itself you're spending almost 60 to 70 thousand dollars between 60 to 70 depending on your trim on how you spec your ranger raptor out and you still do not have a powered lift gate that is a wow your power stuff is right there this one has a bed liner thankfully nice and solid and then you gotta manually wait. Yeah, you gotta manually lift this baby back up. Dual exhaust. Take a look at the LED lighting. Have a better look at it versus when I was at the Woodward Dream Show. When I was at the Ford Performance booth. But yeah, and then you also have a light right here, very bright. Cool. Your raptor just have the raptor sticker right here so 
All right, guys, this is it. Ranger Raptor walk around in the color of Oxford white. Uh, comment below, what do you guys think? Are you spending 55,000 plus on a Ranger Raptor? Comment, I wanna know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed, take care, and you guys have a great day.